And welcome back to Dakin Rompa. Um, sorry, if I sound a little tired, it's because I just woke up. But I think last time we were halfway through the prologue, if I remember right. We just got done meeting everybody, so. And I think a lot of people took off for the... The new... It's, it's Monokuma. It came on the speakers. And he was like, hey, everybody come down to, like... The gym? And people were hesitant. Some people left and some people didn't. Uh, should I talk to you guys? Uh, um. Something weird is going on here, right? It's not just me? Listen. I know how you feel, but all we can do now is check it out, right? Huh. True, if we do not move forward, we learn nothing. The only choice is to push ahead. Are you okay? Is everyone okay? I think this is- okay, I think this is just basic dialogue. So, I'll go ahead and go down to the gym. Looks like the gym is this way? Ooh! Hey, come on! God, I had no idea this Hope's Peak Academy place was going to be such a pain in my balls. It really ain't that much different from the time I spent in Juvie. Hell, this place is even worse. Uh, um. And why isn't there anyone here? Walking through the halls, I didn't see a single person. This is bad. Isn't that, like, seriously not good? <sighs> they, they just trying to... Wait, they're just trying to spook us. They'll take those metal plates down later. I'm sure of it. All we can do now is hope for the best and prepare for the worst. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. <sighs> Shit. Well, hell, it ain't like I'm scared or nothing. Let's just get this over with. Hey, damn it. Hey! Where's whoever called us here? What are you thinking? Mondo, stop! No running! Well then. I too shall go. <laughs> hey, wait! Don't leave me here all alone! Okay, time for some more tutorial action. You can press tab to observe the room you're in. Observing will display what people and objects you can interact with. Sorry for late notice. Ooh. A display case, there are all kind of trophies and plaques inside. Of course, all the students who go here are ultimate right. This is probably just a tiny fraction of all their awards. School has a lot of TVs. They couldn't just all be for that weird school broadcast, could they? Total silence. For whatever reason, she's the only one managing to stay calm. Or maybe I'm just imagining that. I want to talk to Junko. I love you. This is bad. I'm totally getting a bad vibe right now. Oh, is that it? Okay. Um... Where are all the other students? Why are we the only ones here? Probably because we haven't gone inside yet. Yeah, uh, can I look? Oh. oh. Okay. And I guess I'm going in! <laughs> oh god. Still filled with uneasy dread, I did what the announcement said and went to the gym. And I saw what was waiting for us there. Okay, it's everybody else! Oh, it really does look like an entrance ceremony. Yo! See, it told you, it's totally normal entrance ceremony stuff. Hero was right. But in a way that just emphasized how completely not normal all of us were. Hey there, howdy, hello! Is everyone here? Good! Then let's get things rolling! Kuma! I love him. Huh? A teddy bear? I'm not a teddy bear. I am Monokuma! Monokuma! And I am this school's headmaster. Ooh! It was the strangest thing I'd ever seen. Right before my eyes, it was... What I was seeing was, it was utterly incomprehensible. Nice to meet you all. 
No, I love him. Such a bright, wait, no. Such a bright voice and a carefree attitude was completely out of place. And all that anxiety I'd been carrying with me suddenly transformed into outright fear. Say what? Oh, say what? The teddy bear can talk. <laughs> Calm down. I'm sure there's just a speaker inside of it. Hey. I told uh -huh. you already, I'm not a teddy bear. I'm Monokuma, and I'm your headmaster. Say what? <laughs> what? It moved. <laughs> Seriously, man, calm down. It's probably just a remote control toy or something. How dare you compare me to a child's plaything? You cut me deep, deeper than the Mariana Trench. My remote control system is so complex, even the folks at NASA couldn't recreate or even comprehend it. Ah, uh, but don't make me say stuff like that. Wait, no. Ah, but don't make me say stuff that might destroy NASA's dreams. I couldn't just bear that. Well, bear that really you are unfortunate damn hmm. now then moving on we must really hurry and get started come on giving up already no other stupid bear puns now then. quiet down quiet down ah okay so huh. he's abandoned the gag poor monokuma everyone stand at attention and bow and good morning you hear me Good morning! <laughs> What's your you, you don't have to say it back. Now then. now then, let us commence with the most noteworthy and memorable entrance ceremony. First, let's talk a bit about uh, your school life. Wait a minute. What your school life... Guys, please. Please. It, it's, it's early in the morning. I'm, I'm trying my best. <laughs> First, let's talk a bit about what your school life here will be like. Now, uh, make no mistake, you and a few students so full of potential represent the hope of the world. And to protect such splendid hope, you all live communal life together solely within the confines of this school. Does that mean we're stuck here? Everyone will live in harmony together and adhere to the rules and regulations of the school. Huh? Hmm. Ah, now then. Regarding the end date for this communal life... Too bad. There isn't one! In other words, you'll all be here until the day you die. Such a school life you've all been assigned. <laughs> what did he just say? Until the day we die? Yeah. Oh, but fear not, we have quite an abundant budget. So you won't lack for all the common conveniences. Hold on a second. That's the least of our worries right now. Hmm. Yeah, what the hell? You're saying I have to live here forever? You're screwing with us, right? I am not screwing with you. I am no liar of what you can be. Of that, you can be a hundred percent sure. Uh huh. Oh, and just for your information, you're completely cut off from the outside world. So you don't have to worry about that dirty, dirty land beyond these walls ever again. Cut off? Pull those metal plates all over the school. They're to keep us trapped in here? Phew. That's exactly what they're there for. No matter how much you yell and scream for help, help will not come. <laughs> so with all that in mind, feel free to live out your life here with reckless abandon. Hey, come on. Come on, what the hell is this? I don't care if the school or whatever else is behind it all. This is just a really, really bad joke. Damn yeah, you. cut this shit out. It isn't funny anymore. You keep saying this is a lie or a joke. A bunch of skeptics, all of you. What are you gonna do? But I guess you can't help it. You all grew up in an age where you're taught to doubt in your neighbor. Well, you have plenty of time to find out whether or not what I say is true. And when that time comes, you'll see it with your own eyeballs that I speak the undeniable truth. Most unfortunate. And having to lie here forever would be quite the problem. What's this? Come now, what's the matter with all of you? You decide your you decided of your own free will to attend Hope's Peak Academy, didn't you? And now, before the entrance ceremony is even finished, you've already decided you want to leave? Hey! Oh, um... but you know, I guess I did forget to mention one thing. There is a way for you to leave this school. Really? Actually... As headmaster, I've crafted a special clause for those of you who would like to leave. 
I call it the graduation clause. Now, then. now let me tell you about this fun little rule. As I mentioned, in order to maintain an environment of harmony here, we rely on a communal lifestyle. And if someone were to disrupt that harmony, they and they alone would be allowed to leave the school. That, my students, is the graduation clause. What? What do you mean by disrupt the harmony? <laughs> well, you know, if one person were to murder another. But murder? Yes, indeed. Stabbing, strangling, bludgeoning, crushing, hacking, drowning, igniting. How you do it doesn't matter. You must kill someone if you want to leave. It is as simple as that. <laughs> the rest is up to you. Give it your all to achieve the best outcome in the worst way possible. A chill shot down my spine. You must kill somebody if you want to leave. As soon as I heard those words, my blood went cold. <laughs> I bet that you got your br I bet that got your brain juices flowing. Beats the heck out of a human catching a salmon, huh? Like I said before, you guys are the hope of the world. But, you know, taking that hope and seeing it get murdered creates a darkened shadow of despair. Extreme! And I did just find that so darn exciting. What the hell? What the hell are you talking about? To kill each other, it's to kill each other is to kill each other. I'm sure there's a dictionary somewhere if you need it. What are you saying? We know what it means. That's not the problem. Why do we have to kill each other? Say what? Yeah, stop blabbering on with all this nonsense. Just let us go home already. Blabbering. Blabbering. <laughs> Ooh. Blabbering. Blabbering. What do you mean blabbering? Stop blabbering on about blabbering on. Oh, okay. You guys just don't get it, do you? Let us go, let us go. You keep on saying the same thing over and over and over and over and over. Listen, from this moment on, this school is your home, your life, your world. Got it? And you kill as much as you want to kill. So go ahead, go on a k-k-killing spree. All right, come on. How long are you going to keep this up? Huh? You know? You got us, okay? You scared the hell out of us. So you can go ahead and reveal the trick now. Huh? Reveal the trick? I'm right, yeah, because right? I mean, you know, this is all kind of some trick and all, right? So, uh, like... Dude, shut the hell up and get out of my way. Shoving Hero aside, Mondo placed himself in front of Monokuma, his voice rumbling like thunder. Listen dead. up, asshole. This shit's gone way too far. What kind of... What the hell kind of joke is this? What's the matter? Joke? What? You mean like your hair? Damn! Monokuma, chill, please. You son of a bitch! Ah! <laughs> Mono, Mondo roared out, and then there was a sudden boom. It was the sound of the floorboards as he kicked off and launched himself into the air. He flew at Monokuma, fast and straight as a bullet. He'd locked onto his target. Monokuma, no! Oh, shit! What just happened? Oh, god. I think I accidentally pressed something. Shut the fuck up! Let me out of here, or I swear to Christ! Uh oh. What does that mean? What's going on? Hey, damn it. What? No smart ass comeback this time? Piece of shit. Stop that goddamn beeping and say something! Watch out! Oh, watch out! Get rid of it! Huh? Huh? Hurry up and throw it! Is- Wait, is he a bomb? I don't know if her ferocity stunned him into silence or what, but without a word he did what he was told. He threw Monokuma, and as soon as he did... The hell? What the- That sure as shit wasn't a joke. It blew the hell up! There was a painful ringing in my ears, and I could smell gunpowder. Explosions might happen all the time in movies or whatever, but when it's in real life, I'd never seen anything like it. But, but you know, this means that the teddy bear's been destroyed, right? I told you I'm not a teddy bear. I'm Monokuma! Huh? 
There's another one. You Damn son of a bitch, you seriously tried to kill me just now? Well, yes, I was serious about trying to kill you. You did violate one of the school regulations after all. I'll let you off with a warning this time, but you'd better be careful from now on. Any naughty boy or girl who violates my rules won't get off with just a little swat on the butt. This is bad. Hey, so does that mean there's like a bunch more of you somewhere? Yep. Monokumas have been placed all throughout the school, yes. Plus, don't forget the surveillance cameras installed everywhere. And if you're caught breaking any rules, well, you all just saw what happened, right? <laughs> and I won't be so forgiving with my punishment next time. So don't let it happen again. Huh? That's that's not even punishment. That's just wrong. Well. Now then, lastly, to corroborate your joyous entry into our school, I have a little something for you. This is our official student handbook. Pretty cool, huh? As you can see, it's fully digital. So naturally, we call it the e-handbook. Hmm. Ahem, yes, moving on. This handbook is absolutely vital to a healthy school life, so don't lose it. When you, when you start it up, it will display your name. Always make sure you have the right one. Now, this is not your everyday notebook. It has so many more uses than that. What? Also, it's completely waterproof. Splash it, wash it, drown it. It'll keep on ticking. And thanks to its space age design, it can withstand an impact force of up to 10 tons. Very resistant. It contains all our school regulations, so make sure you review them thoroughly. You guys. You'll hear me say this a lot, but any violation of school regulations will not be tolerated. Sheen. Rules restrict, yes, but they also protect. Society, for example, would be utter chaos without laws. Yes, indeed. The same thing applies here, which is why it's crucial we have strict punishments in place for violators. Okay, well that brings our entrance ceremony to a close. Bye -bye. Please enjoy your abundantly dreary, dreary school life, and see ya! And with that, he was gone, leaving us all in a state of shock. So guys, how would you define what we experienced? What the how? Why? I don't understand any of this. Huh? We have to live here forever or kill. <laughs> what just happened? Calm down. Everyone, we just need to calm down. First, let's take a second to summarize everything we just heard. Based on what Monokuma said, we essentially have two choices. Number one is that we stay here living in a communal life together until the day we die. And the other choice is... Indeed. If we want to get out of here alive, we have to kill someone, right? That's... But killing somebody, that's... <laughs> we were abducted, abducted out of nowhere and stuffed into this place meant to look like a school. And now we're supposed to start killing each other? This is... This is just... This is... What is this? Ridiculous. A lie. That's what it is. All these ridiculous things we've heard, it all has to be fake. Hmm. Right now, it doesn't really matter if it's real or fake. What matters is... So in other is there words, anyone here who... Is there anyone here who's seriously considering all this? To that, nobody had a response. Keeping quiet myself, I looked around the others. They all stared at one another, trying to gauge each other's thoughts. I could almost taste the hostility. And that's when it hit me. I realized the true terror hidden within the rules Monokuma had laid out. You must kill someone if you want to leave. His words had planted vicious thoughts deep within each of us. Each of us became suspicious of everyone else. We were forced to wonder, is somebody going to betray us? And that was how my new school life began. This school, which had come out of nowhere to raise my hopes so high. It's not a school of hope. It's a school of despair. Oh, and that's the prologue! Woohoo! Yay! <laughs> Driving students 15. To be continued! But we're gonna keep on going. <gasps> Ooh, is this the intro? Oh yeah. Listen, this intro is a banger. 
Santa. Do not mind the doggos. Monokuma! God, I love the... I think this is like the theme music. The basic. What do you, what do you call it? Just the basic theme music? I really like it. Or is 15 kind of an odd number? God, this is so cool. If you guys, even if you're not gonna play the game, you guys should watch the anime. It is so good. God, that's what got me into this. Cause I didn't know the anime was based on games. You've re received the school crest present. Yes. You must kill someone if you want to leave. My mind froze and my breath caught in my throat as I thought about that. I could feel a paralyzing fear slowly making its way through my body, dominating every last nerve. The air hung heavy on me, pressing down like a weight around my neck. It took everything I had just to endure that weight. Chapter one! To survive. But for as heavy as the air felt, all it took to pierce it was her sharp words. Yeah. So, what are you gonna do now? Hey. Just stand around glaring at each other? Her pointed comment was directed at everyone in the room. It helped us pull us- it helped pull us all back to reality. Uh, right, she's right! Listen to Sometimes, me. even if you're nervous or afraid, you just have to step forward. Uh, to forget is such a simple fact. I cannot forgive myself. I'm so ashamed. You hear me? Please, someone hit me so I can forgive myself! Someone hit me! Punish me! Okay, calm down. Huh? Jesus, you have time to yell about it. You have time to do something about it. However, perhaps. What is the mission exactly? Stupid idiot to look for a way out. Duh. What the? And we totally need to find whoever's controlling that stupid bear and beat the hell out of them. But You're so right, Junko. I love you. But before we do that, maybe we should take a look at the handbook. It's probably best to check out the school regulations Monokuma mentioned before doing anything else. This is fine. True, if we stumble around with no clue what the rules are, something like that might happen again. Shit. All right. Fine, so let's then... hurry up and check out the stupid rules already. After turning on my e-handbook, the first thing that appeared was my name. So just like Monokuma said, the owner's name showed up front and center. Then, from the main menu that popped up, I selected School Regulations icon. An itemized list appeared on screen. It was the School Regulations. In other words, the rules being imposed on, imposed on us all. Students may reside only within the school. Leaving campus is, unaccept, is an unacceptable use of time. Nighttime is from 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. Some areas are off limits at night, so please exercise caution. Sleeping anywhere other than the dormitory will be seen as sleeping in class and punished accordingly. With minimum restriction, you are free to explore Hope's Peak at your discretion. Violence against the headmaster Monokuma is strictly prohibited, as is destruction of surveillance cameras. Anyone who kills a fellow student and becomes blackened will graduate unless they are discovered. Additional school regulations may be added as necessary. Feeling a slight dizziness, I raised my face from the screen. 
As I looked around, I saw the same stormy expression on everybody else's Stop face. This is bullshit. What the hell kind of rules are? Th what the hell kind of rules are these? I'm not gonna let them control me. <laughs> well then, why don't you wander around the school without a care in the world and see what happens? Personally, I'd love to see what happens when somebody breaks one of the rules. However, but if he got punished like what we saw before, I don't think there'd be a respawn waiting for him. Yo. I, ever since I was a kid, I grew up with my older brother pounding this into my head. When a man makes a promise, he has to keep it, even if it kills him. And? So, what? What? I've made a ton of promises that I still have to keep. That's so what? So I can't afford to die in here. <sighs> None of that made much sense to me, but you were saying you will follow the regulations. Is that it? That's true. Huh? Oh, well, yeah. I guess you're right. Also, why does his hair look like a, a, a cob of corn? Is that just me? <laughs> it looks like a corn on the cob. Hey, um, I have a question. Regulation number six, what do you think it means exactly? Anyone who kills a fellow student and becomes blackened will graduate unless they are discovered. You're talking about the second half, right? Where it says, unless they are discovered? I was wondering about that myself. Hmm. It's saying that if you want to graduate, you have to kill somebody without anyone finding out. It was you. But why? Why do we have to do that? <laughs> I don't see any reason to worry about it. Just worry about following the rules as they've been explained to us. Such Frankly, I don't want to hear anything from someone who waits for others to decide what to do for them. <laughs> don't jab at me. Oh, Ew. Did she just get off on that? That's gross. Give me a break. More like a full-on stab. Mm. Well, for now, let's all forget that silly junk about murders or whatever. Okay. Now that we know the rules, let's start exploring the school. True, true. We need to find out where exactly we are. Is there any way out? What about food and supplies? You understand? There are tons of questions we need to answer. Let's do it! Damn straight. Okay. Now let's all start looking around. I'll be going alone. What? What? Why? That's a pretty stupid idea, don't you think? Someone here might already have have started thinking about murdering one of us. Are you saying we should stand around in the room with- Wait. Are you saying that we should stand around with them in our midst and make it that much easier for them? Hold on a second. Wait, hold on a second. That would never- what? Don't bother saying it couldn't happen. You can't deny the possibility. That's why you all si seized up with, with fear when the graduation roll was made up. Very clear to you. Oh my lord, please give me a second. I cannot speak. <laughs> Am I wrong? Uh, um, but... Hmm. So, I'm simply acting in accordance with what I think is best for me. Just hold on. Hold on. Like, hell, I'm gonna let you run off and do whatever you want. What? Out of my way, Plankton. <laughs> okay, Mr. Krabs, damn. What? What? What the fuck is that supposed to mean? Such ignorance. One tiny bit of Plankton drifting across the sea. So minuscule, so insignificant. They couldn't possibly have any kind of influence on the boundless ocean. I'm gonna dead. kick your ass. Stop it. We shouldn't what? fight. Guys. This isn't Brad. Brad. This isn't you. Sorry, that just reminded me of those stupid TikTok memes. Bubba Grill. This isn't you. Hmm. The fuck you just say? You just kind of goody goody little. Goody goody little bitch. Okay. You wanna throw down? Who do you think you are? Talking to me like that? You think you're my fucking dad or something? No, I wasn't. You son Fuck of a you! Bitch. Ooh. Wham. He punched me. And I flew back in a heap? Damn! It was like something straight out of a comic book. I didn't even see the punch coming. It was suddenly right there in my face. One second I was standing there, the next I was soaring through the air. <laughs> now that I think about it, Maybe I'd kind of forgotten the kind of people I'd been trapped in here with. My common sense had just stopped functioning. Being around all these ultimates had blown my fuses. So I guess I shouldn't be surprised it led to something as absurd as this. But I'd lost track of that sense in reality. It was my last thought as my consciousness started to fade, before it finally cut out completely. And when I finally opened my eyes again, what I saw was... <sighs> Ooh, chapter one, the unknown. Uh, huh? 
Where am I? As it as if it had become part of my daily routine, I woke up in yet another room I had never seen before. Okay, so. Where am I now? You now have access to the handbook menu. You can use this to check a variety of information as you play. Open the handbook menu by pressing the F1 key. You can use it. You can use this menu to check out the school regulations and character info in the report card section. At certain points, map and truth bullets may not be available. You can also save and load the game data under system selection. Finally, F2 to review the transcript. This records all pertinent info, so use this to review comments from everyone involved. Okay. Oh. Okay, so I can save. Okay. Oh, there's a lot of stuff in here, okay. It's a notepad, I guess the school must have given one to each of us. There doesn't seem anything- there doesn't seem to be anything particularly strange about the bed. It's some kind of lint roller. I guess we're supposed to clean up after ourselves? There's some kind of metal plate mounted here. It's to keep us all trapped. A surveillance camera. I hate the idea that someone might be watching me right now. We're not allowed to mess with the cameras, so I'd better make sure I don't touch it. This must be the key to the room. My name's written on the keychain, which means it must be mine, right? I'd better hang on to it for tomorrow. Just an everyday trash can. I don't see any kind of trapdoor or hidden compartments or anything. Oh! I got a token! Oh, I don't think I checked the drawer. It looks like there's something in the drawer. It's a toolkit. It must be brand new. It's still in the shrink wrap. I don't really need it right now, so I'll just leave it here. There's a piece of ping- Ugh. There's a piece of paper hanging up on the wall, which says, Announcement from Headmaster Monokuma. Each room's lock has been designed to completely protect against tampering or lockpicking. Remaking an individual room key is quite troublesome, so please do not use yours. Lose yours. Oh my lord. Your room comes furnished with a shower, but please note that the water is turned off at nighttime. Also, bathrooms in the girls' lock- wait, no. Also, the bathrooms in the girls' locker room include a lock of their own. Finally, we've prepared a small gift for each of you. For the girls, a sewing kit. And for the boys, a tool kit. This sewing kit includes a map of the body's vital organs. One stab will do the job, girls! For the boys, we believe a strong blow to the head with any of the tools should be ample. Don't think, just feel, and let us all enjoy ourselves? Wow, that's morbid. I crumpled up the sheet of paper and threw it in the trash. Is there anything else? Some kind of monitor. Ugh. Looks like this door leads outside. It's locked, so some of the rooms have locks, huh? Wait, the, I thought this was the door outside. Then what's this? Oh, this would appear to be the bathroom. Huh? It's not opening. I guess it's locked. I think I'm starting to understand this room must be my room. Sleeping anywhere other than the dormitory will be seen as sleeping class and punished accordingly. This is my assigned dorm room. Someone must have carried me here after I fell unconscious. That answers the question. The next question is... What is everybody else up to right now? There's only one way to find out. And that's to get out of here. Didn't they say only the girls have locks? Then how how is mine locked? They said only the girls' rooms were locked. I mean, maybe it knew I was a girl and not Makoto, but I don't think that's the case. I rushed out of the room to meet up with all the others, but there was someone waiting for me there. It was like something out of an old TV show. Wham! Ah! 
Oh. Hey. Oh. Oh. Sayaka. Oh wait, I don't have to read this. Thank God. Sorry. Are you okay? Oh my God, I know this voice actor, and it's killing me because I'm just thinking of another character he voices. I'm fine. I hope you're okay. Sorry about that. Aww. She had an embarrassed smile on her face. I stood up slowly. Are you okay, Sayaka? Are you hurt? <laughs> you make it sound worse than it is. I'm completely fine. I know how I look, but I've actually built up some pretty good muscle jumping up and down on stage. That's good then. Um... But are you okay? You know, from where Mondo hit you. That's true. I got knocked out right there in front of everyone. I guess I revealed my lack of cool right from the beginning. Makoto? Makoto? Oh, um, I'm fine. Nothing wrong here. That's good. Oh, that's good. I was kind of worried. Thanks. By the way, what are you doing here? Uh, um... Actually, I came to get you. You came to get me? Um, well, if you really are feeling better, I was hoping you could come to the dining hall. The dining hall? You see. After you got knocked out, everyone decided to go and do their own thing. We decided it would be more effective if we split up to investigate. So we agreed to get together later on and talk about what we'd found. What we'd each found. Does that mean it's almost time to get back together? If that's what's going on, then of course I'll go with that's you. Good. good, I'll go on ahead and meet you at the dining hall then. Oh, it's my room. This is where I just came out of. My name and picture are on the nameplate. There's no reason for me to go back inside. Ooh. She said the dining hall. Dining hall's right here? Okay, okay. This must be the dormitory dining hall. Um, it looks pretty clean, so that's good. Er, I guess it's not really important right now, with us being prisoners here and all. Yeah, that's true. Nobody was there waiting for us. We don't really have much choice. I guess we should just wait here for now. <laughs> hmm, okay, let's just wait here. Huh? You heard that. Like I said, like I said I'm psychic. I'm psychic. <laughs> Come on, I'm just kidding. Seriously, I just have an amazing intuition. Is it really just an intuition? It's kind of sudden, but I know. Here comes a tutorial. Right now, I'd like to talk about reactions. You're going to be talking to Sayaka, right? Well, while you're talking to her, some purple words are going to appear, and here's how they work. When a purple word shows up, you press the right mouse button, and you'll go into reaction mode. At this point, you can use the WASD to make a selection, the left mouse button to confirm it. Also, when it comes to that dialogue, you can review whatever you talked about for more info. Talking to someone about things is called a reaction. Okay, do your best to enjoy the ever-important school life. Hey, um... By the way, Makoto. Oh, what is it? Um... Well, it's just... I know this is kind of... Ooh! I know this is kind of continuing the self-introduction thing, but I wanted to ask you something. Continuing our self-introductions? Um... We kind of got cut off before. I had a question I wanted to ask you. Gekko wants to ask me something? I wonder what it is. Now I'm really curious. Hey, um, um. Well, it's just. I know this is kind of okay. Yeah. Okay. What did you want to ask me, hmm. Makoto? Did you happen to go to Black Root Junior High? Were you maybe in class two? Yeah, actually, I was. <sighs> I knew it. I went there too. I was in class four though. Do you remember me? Do I remember? Even back in middle school when she was a celebrity with all kind of ultimate surrounding her. How could I forget? Almost as surprising as her question was that she remembered me. Oh, what a true love story. We never even talked to each other, but somehow she still knew who I was. Hey, um. Hey, are you okay? Oh yeah, I'm just surprised is all. I wouldn't have thought you'd remember me. <laughs> we went to the same school for three years. Of course I remember. Well, that's true, but there are a lot of students in our grade, right? Plus, I'd never been the type of person to ever really stand out. I'm average at everything, and all my hobbies are totally normal. Even normal would call me boring. Aww. What are you talking about? You're so strange. Strange? That's... <laughs> ah -ha, ha She started giggling even louder. 
that somehow mysterious smile of hers made my heart grow calmer. Her smile was the nicest smile I'd ever seen. That's good. Anyways, I'm really glad that I know somebody here. <sighs> Talking to you has made me feel a lot better about all this. You're amazing, Makoto. No, I'm really not. I'm nothing compared to all you ultimates. <laughs> but you're the one that helped me find my courage again. Not any of those ultimate students. Thank you for saying that. Okay. And to thank you for helping me out, I'm gonna become your ultimate assistant. Uh, my assistant? <laughs> yep, I'm your assistant now. I'm going to help you as much as I can, so let's get out of here together. When she says things like that, it it gets me pumped up! Yeah, I guess the blood flowing. Which is nice, but still, everyone else is still late. Besides that, I don't even know what time it is right now. Dude, there's a clock in the corner. Right there. There must be a clock somewhere- What do you mean?! There's literally- Okay. Let me check out these first. Okay, yeah. Oh, I got a coin. Do I just get coins for messing with things? So, uh, what time is it right now? What? Seven o'clock at night? Uh, um... You were unconscious for a pretty long time. I see. Without being able to look out a window, I've lost all sense of time. If I have to stay in this place for too long, I might just go crazy. Hey, um... I can't believe no one's here yet. I'm pretty sure they'll all start showing up soon. Almost like he timed it. Taka threw open the dining hall. Where does Sayaka said that? Hey! Ah, Makoto, Sayaka! You two got here first, huh? Too bad. I was sure I'd beat everyone here. I guess that just means I'll have to... Wait, I guess that just means I don't have enough fighting spirit yet. Well, I won't give up. Next time, I swear I'll win no matter what it takes. Justice shall always prevail. <laughs> That's a bit much, don't you think? And soon after that, everyone else came strolling in one after another. So after a few minutes, everyone had gathered in the dining hall. Okay. It okay, looks like, looks like everyone's, like everyone's here. here. Time to start the meeting. Oh, I don't have to speak. Yay. Okay. Let's all go around and share what we found out during our respective investigations. Okay. The sooner we find out what's going on, the sooner we get out of here. Hold on a sec. Ooh, wait, hold on a sec. What are you talking what's about? What's wrong? Hmm. What about, uh, what's her name? You know, the silvered haired girl. <gasps> oh, yes, Kyoko. Hmm. What about her? Aww. She's not here. <laughs> what? I took another look around the dining hall. Sure enough, she was nowhere to be seen. Um... I wonder where she went. Has anyone seen her? But everyone just shook their heads. Huh? Wait, so nobody's seen her? Why hasn't Kyoko shown up yet? Could it be because... Yes, indeed! Stabbing, strangling, budgeting, crushing, hacking, drowning, igniting, how you do it doesn't matter. You must kill someone if you want to leave. It is as simple as that. <laughs> the rest is up to you. Give it your all to achieve the best outcome in the worst way possible. Is it possible? Was she really? No, no. I'm just overthinking things. <laughs> Darn it, Kyoko. You're really going to be late on the first day of school. Not only is she late, she didn't tell anybody that she would be late. Almost an unbecoming personality trait. Come on. You're being a real... Oh, damn. You're being a real jackass right now. You know that. Well, what do you want me to do? Punctuality is everything. Now then, I declare the first session of Hope's Peak Academy briefing meetings has begun. Um... Uh, Makoto, actually, first of all, I've talked enough. Maybe we should listen to what everyone else has to say. Okay, let's do that. Oh, <laughs> well, what's up? <laughs> I feel like I really have become your personal assistant, don't you agree? Okay, what the fuck is going on? Can you two stop being romantic? We're kind of trapped in a death trap. I may not be the best assistant in the world, but I'll give it everything I've got. No, you've already done so much as my assistant. Okay. Well. Do I want to leave it off here? Hmm. You know what? I'll, I'll leave it off here. 
I will save and we will find Kyoko next time, hopefully. I doubt she's dead. There's no way she's dead yet. And she's like literally the most like suspicious person. Well, she's not suspicious, but she's like the most cautious. So I'm sure she'll be fine. But I'm gonna leave it off here. Next time we'll talk to everybody. We'll find Kyoko and we'll do the rest of chapter one. But for right now, thank you guys so much for coming. Make sure to like, subscribe, and I will see you guys tomorrow. So good night, goodbye, mwah.